Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer, also known as Happy Place Planning. I'm glad you stopped by and I hope you enjoy today's video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a daily planner comparison. I have quite a few different planners here to show you and I went ahead and planned out a day in each of the planners so we can kind of see what the same plans look like in a variety of daily planners. So I wanna preface this by saying it is apples to apples because they are daily planners but it's also not. It's more like apples to oranges because obviously the sizes and the layouts are different in each of these planners. So this is really just to give you an idea of what the same plans would look like in a variety of daily planners that are out on the market so today. I do have the plan by Lauren Treslow. I have the Erin Condren 7x9 Daily Duo. I have the mini day designer and I did just pull out an Erin Condren A5 planner and it's comparable in size. So that gives you an idea on the size of this book. I have a dot grit notebook with planner Kate create your own and the um, full size day designer as well as the quarterly amplify planner start with the biggest and go down to the smallest and I'll try to show you um, Kind of Everything all at once although that's gonna be kind of hard to fit on the screen So this is the full size day designer. I did ink pen only I really don't mind the paper even though it's a little bit thinner than like the Erin Condren this is actually 68 pound paper and then I don't have a paperweight on the plan by Lauren Treslow but I would say it's a little bit thicker than the 68 pound but not quite um, Aaron Condren weight this is more of just like a regular textured paper this does seem to have a little bit more tooth to it, but not as much as the Erin Condren planner. So on this planner, I made some notes up here for Theta Psi. I moved those plan notes down here on the plan. Both of these planners have a timed section. This one starts at 6 a.m. and goes to 8 p.m. And it does have half hour slots, which I really do prefer. This one has a 5 a.m. start with a 9 p.m. stop, but it does not have half hour time slots. This, plan this planner also features a top three section, as does this one. She calls it the red line items. She calls it the top three. You have room for to-dos in both substantially um, larger amount in the day designer than in the plan. So depending on how many to-dos you have for the day that might influence you to choose a certain planner over another. This does have a note section, which I dedicated to content planning. Um, you really don't have that in this planner. However, the plan does feature a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, water intake, and fitness activity. Um, those sections are not labeled on the day designer, but of course, if you wanted to draw in some lines, you could do that to dedicate space for those specific items. Let's go ahead and open up the Amplify Planner. It's very comparable in size to both of these planners. However, this is a quarterly planner, so it only has three months in it, which makes it a little bit more compact. We get to Friday the 1st. So we have a side-by-side -side comparison here next to the day designer and a side-by-side -side next to the plan. This does also have a timed section with half hour slots starting at 5 a.m. going to 11 p.m. I will tell you this planner from the Amplify Planner, um, it has the most amount of time space that I've ever seen in a daily planner just with that 5 a.m. start and the 11 p.m. stop. I did put those notes down here in this dot grid section, and then you'll notice um, that this planner has lots of structure to it. However, the sections aren't really labeled um, for you other than your priorities and habits, work and personal tasks. 
And then you have these four freedom boxes that you could label and you know set up however you needed to for your daily plans. Move down in size and talk about the seven by nine notebook. Um, I do have a video up on this using the planner Kate create your own kits. And it just dawned on me as I was prepping for this video that you didn't have to just use it for monthly and weekly. You could also add in daily pages. Now, the cool thing about using a notebook would be that if you don't need a daily page every day, you could really not waste your pages and save a lot of space. Meaning this could be your week view, and let's say you only need a couple of daily pages for the week on super busy days, you could have one you know, for Thursday and Friday, and then your next page you could set up as your next week. So um, that would be the benefit to using just an, a plain notebook. The other thing that would be a benefit is that it's a blank slate. Now that could also be kind of a downfall if you don't like having to think about what the daily structure should look like for you, but it could also be a benefit because you know, you're free to do whatever you want. So depending on your planner preference, you have lots of options with a notebook. Let's keep moving right along with the next size down. It's actually the same size as the seven by nine notebook. And that is the seven by nine daily duo from Erin Condren. So this planner features a 6 a.m. start down to really this could be 8.30. They don't have the last one labeled um, and there are half hour slots. This one also has something a little bit different and that is a daily calendar on each page. That's kind of up in the air for people. I've heard people say they don't like that and they cover it up with stickers. I really prefer having a mini calendar on my daily page. This planner also has a to-do list section and a bottom box down here. That's where I put my extra notes that you saw um, in some of the other planners. Now this does not have um, a whole lot of structure to it. So the other planners, you know, you have sections given to you. You could create your own sections by, you know, splitting this up, maybe putting your top three up in this section. Um, your habits, you could put your habits down here if you don't have notes. So this planner has a lot of time, space, and to-dos, but I would say the structure is somewhere in between this notebook where you do everything yourself and some of these other planners that have just a little bit more structure. We'll wrap up with the mini day designer. So this is gonna look very similar to the full size day designer that we looked at first. So I did put my top three in here. This planner features a 7 a.m. start, 7 p.m. stop with no half hours. I did have room for my notes down here. It does have a to-do section, and then just a little bit more structure up here with the do, dollars, dinner, and don't forget. Um, those aren't necessarily sections that I need, so what I did was I covered some of this up with washi, and then you could use those four little sections um, for whatever you needed to use them for. That's a little look at some of the daily planners on the market and how the same plans look in each planner. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you have questions about any of the daily pages in these planners, let me know. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you back next time.